Hey, this is Jared Krause, host of the Buying Online Businesses podcast, and today I'm doing something very different. In this episode, well, for the next four episodes, I'm going to be doing some solo podcasts, and what I've decided to do is do something very different, very specific and intentional for you guys, and that is talking publicly about mindset. Now, I teach a lot of mindset to my clients, and having the mindset, right mindset that is, is actually foundational to achieving anything in life which is why I decided to do a four-part mindset series on this podcast for all of you. Because like I said, this is foundational and without the right mindset, you won't get very far on your journey to buying a website business or anything in life for that matter. And I'm certain that there are so many of you listening who want to buy a website but haven't, or you feel like you can't, or you've been sitting on the fence for a while and hanging about for any number of reasons. And I have no doubt it's because you haven't set the foundations first by collapsing a solid mindset for yourself to participate in this journey. So here it is. This is a four part mindset series, which is everything you need to get started in this game and kick some serious goals. So let's get stuck in. Today's episode is brought to you by us here at Buying Online Businesses. Let me ask, if you have an online business, have you ever thought of selling it? We're a thriving community of website investors who are cashed up and hungry to buy your online business. Our members are well-trained in online business due diligence, allowing you a quick sale of your business. And because we only want to provide a better service to our members, we're opening up the doors to allow you to sell your online business to us free of charge. So if you have an online business that's making a minimum net profit of 5,000 per year and you're thinking of selling your business, head over to our sell your business page at buyingonlinebusinesses.co forward slash sell your business. There will be a link in the show notes and you can also find this page from our site buyingonlinebusinesses.com. That's buyingonlinebusinesses.com. So in this first part, part one, we're going to be talking about the one thing every successful website investor has that you don't. Now, all the Bob members that I work with, people in my mastermind and the many other brilliant minds have either had mentor me or worked with or have had on the podcast, they all have one specific thing in common that about 90% of the world do not. This thing they have sets them apart and is undoubtedly a huge factor for why these people have achieved great things. I know this because the people I work with who have bought website businesses and are growing them and building a portfolio of sites and replacing their income tell me, they tell me what it is. Now, some of them know it. Some of them know it's their secret source. Some of them do not, but that's okay because as long as they have this one thing and they do this one thing, then they are destined to continue their journey towards a better life. So what is it that every successful website investor has that people who fail or don't even get started do not have. It's a vision. I know, right? A vision, what the hell? It's so simple. Some of you would even say it's actually elementary, but it's actually not. It's foundational, like I said before. But here's the catch. Because it's so simple and also very, very easy to use or to have, most of the world do not value it. Because it's such a low-hanging fruit. People walk right on by and just completely ignore this absolutely critical thing, which is to have a vision for a better future. And that vision could be buying a website business and the future that may provide you or the lifestyle that may provide you. But let me give you an example of how easy it is for people to actually to even just completely ignore this and just not value it. Now, let's say I have a book. And I tell you that this is the best book you'll ever read. And after reading it, you will make $1 million in your first year in business. And then I bring it to you and give it to you. More than likely, you're going to just ignore this because if it's good, why would I buy a copy and give it to you for free? So it just goes away and sits on your bookshelf and unread and collects dust. But what if I'm to tell you that I have a book and it's the best book you'll ever read? And after reading it, you will make $1 million in your first year in business, but this book will cost you 60 bucks. And you also need to read one page per day for a full year. Would you buy it? Of course you would, because you would value it enough to buy the book. And here's the kicker, do the work. That is what having a vision is. 
And that's my goal for you in this podcast. It's to show you how valuable having a vision is. So you value it highly enough to think of your vision at least once a day. Now, I know there's so many books written on this subject, right? There's books like The Secret, which in my opinion is just full of fluff. There's also, you can watch the documentary or the movie, The Secret. And I'm going to tell you why it's full of fluff shortly. There's also a really good book that I do recommend, and that's Psycho-Cybernetics. I think it's Maxwell Maltz. I'll link to that in the show notes. You can actually listen to that as an audiobook for free on YouTube, which I did recently. And you've probably heard all, all of this before, right? Have a vision, right? And unfortunately, most of you listening to this right now will just dismiss this. Some of you will turn this podcast off and find something else to distract you from what you actually want. But if you're deadly serious about either wanting to buy a website and replace your income or just flat out have a better life, no matter where you're at, dismissing this one thing is one of the worst things you could do. I know this to be true. Why? Let me tell you my story. When I first started, I first started like trying to make money online and didn't really have the mindset piece down. Now, when I started to learn mindset and learn a few things that I needed in order to achieve my goals, I started to work on my mindset and I started to visualize my future. So I used to wake up every morning and go to work as a plumber, right? So I used to have a moped and I used to strap my tools to the back of my moped and I'd ride to work. And this is when I was working close to home. Sometimes I would, you know, get in the car and, and drive up with somebody else to Brisbane, which is an hour away. But what I would do wherever I was going to go to either get a lift to work or ride myself to work on my moped, what I did as soon as I put my helmet on and started riding, I visualized my perfect life. I visualized my life that I actually wanted. And I used to, you know, take all these different things from different people that taught different things about mindset. And that can be affirmations. It could be focusing on your vision. It could be talking affirmations out loud. It could be putting yourself into a positive mood, all these different I am statements and stuff like that. So I did a bit of a mixture of all these different things and try to test them out. And what worked for me really well was when I used to ride my moped to work every single day and used to tell myself I would make $1,000 per month online. I used to say I would make $1,000 per month online and travel the world. I'll make $1,000 per month online and travel the world. And I wouldn't just talk about it. I would visualize it and see myself, you know, getting on the plane, off the plane, going to all these awesome tropical locations. And eventually, as you guys know, which is why I'm here and have this podcast and this community and all these things that I do now is because it started with that. It started me believing that I would actually go away and have this external life or this different life, this life that would be completely different to than what I had at that actual time. Now, if I was to still only make a thousand dollars per month and travel the world, I'd be quite upset. Gone exceeded past that and have, you know, clients that are doing much more than a thousand dollars per month themselves from buying businesses. So I know this to be true, right? For myself. I also know this to be true because whenever someone in the Bob community stops doing the work, right? they get derailed. Why do you think that is? That's right. It's because they forgot about their vision. They took their eyes off the prize and let other distractions come in and derail them. I know this because I teach mindset to my members and it's absolutely huge. And about 99% of the time when someone messaged me and letting me know that they've dropped the ball or gotten off track, I ask them, have they stopped thinking of their vision? And they did. They shifted their focus and where your focus goes, your energy flows. Okay. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. And I say this because if, for example, you stayed focused on your vision, it doesn't appear like many people believe this is not how manifesting works. Like just focusing on your vision. It doesn't just appear, right? It doesn't just appear how it actually works is that if you're focused on your vision and you keep that focus, then opportunities do pop up and arise within your circle or within your field of vision to help you get closer to your goals, right? And yes, you'll need to take action on those things. Some of those opportunities will be better than others, but you can't make the mistake that if you thinketh, you will become, right? Which is what a lot of people perceive. And it's the same with the secret. The secret tells people that they just need to go away and visualize this vision and things are just going to poof rock up into existence for you, right? Without doing any of the heavy lifting. Now, it's not like you think, okay? It's not like people tell you, think something into existence and 
it's just like Amazon. You order something on Amazon and it just arrives on your doorstep. Yes, by having a vision, you are putting an order into the universe, but you need to manufacture that yourself. No one else can do it for you. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about in the next episode, which is how to manufacture your vision because it's scary. And you may not know the steps and phases that you need to go through to achieve your goals, right? Which is okay. Because in the next podcast, I'll be covering the three C's to achievement. I'll break down each of these three C's, these three different steps for you so you can see the clear path and see the different stages that you need to go through, that you need to follow. Not all be smooth sailing. In fact, the start is the hardest, but we'll talk more about that in the next episode. For now, what I want you to do is think about your vision. What would your life look like? And get specific with it. Some of you may already be doing this. A lot of you won't. And some of you do this unconsciously, which is what I did as a kid. And I've started to do it over and over again over the years, and it's changed for me. However, for me, to get this right and do it wholeheartedly, which is what I suggest you actually go away and do yourself too, is I turn this into a very manual process. And actually, it's so much harder than you may think where I used to create this routine every day to ensure I had at least some time to focus on my ideal life, right? Which is started out in the car, right? Or on the way to work on the moped. And from keeping that habit and pattern, it formed and forged into where now I get into bed and out of bed and my brain just switches automatically into that mode of thinking about my vision. It's just completely unconscious. My brain just does it. And yes, I will become conscious of it when my brain switches into that mode and then I'll, I'll visualize my vision. And I don't just do what most people think is just like keep visualizing and then I wake up in the morning and my dream life's on my doorstep is no, the next day or the next week or the next month or even in the next year, things will rise, different opportunities like I mentioned before that I may take action on or may not take action on. And these little things that I decide to take action on are going to be the difference between me going away and achieving my goal or not, right? So you need to be conscious and aware and see these opportunities that present themselves once you start thinking about your vision and take action on those. And that's where the work comes into it, right? But whatever you do though, guys, don't dismiss this. If you ask anyone who has any level of success in their life, the only reason they've achieved those goals, this is the only reason they've achieved those goals is because they've spent a certain amount of time thinking about those goals. And I don't care who you are or what you've achieved. Every single human has only done that through knowing what they want and putting focus, time and energy towards it. Now, do you do this yourself? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't give it enough time and energy it actually deserves. But my message to you is through this podcast episode, if you're serious about buying a website business and replacing your income or serious about achieving anything in your life, you need to think about what your life's going to be once you have it, how you'll be living your life and how things will play out for you and focus yourself and visualize being in that situation, being in that life and living that life. And then those opportunities will arrive where you can take action on those. And you may be listening to this podcast because you've just started doing this, or you may have been listening to this podcast because you started doing this a while ago and it dropped off your bandwagon and you forgot your vision, which I feel a lot of you may be in that actual boat. But now's the time to get back on that motorbike or that moped and start visualizing and thinking about, and you don't have to be some woo woo person that needs to think about this 24 <laughs> seven every single day. This is put it into reality and make sure you can do it within the circumstances that you're in right now, but where your focus goes, energy flows. And I urge you to start thinking about your vision. If you did forget it. Now, what I want you to do as well is think of two to three people who, you know, are ready to start their journey either towards a better life or maybe it is towards buying a website investment self, but it can be to go away and achieve anything. And what I want you to do is do them a massive favor and share this episode with them and go on this four part mindset journey with you. This stuff is far more powerful than any website or business venture you could be a part of. And I know that for myself because if I lose all of my businesses, I lose all of my money. I've still got this foundational work and this foundational mindset that I can build this all back up on again and I can do it a lot quicker because I've had that experience 
from building up businesses and owning businesses and stuff like that. So what I'd love you to do is share this episode with two to three people who are on a journey or want to have a better life and go on this journey with them. In the next podcast episode, what we're going to be talking about is those three C's, all right? Those three C's to achievement and how to become a confident website investor. So we're going to be breaking down those three C's of achievement, how you go through that journey. It's going to be excellent. It's going to be fun. It's going to be critical for you to learn so you can become confident as a website investor and confident when you go to a way and achieve anything in your life. So look out for that next episode. That's the mindset series part two, and I'll speak to you then. 